Success in mining requires advantages, such as profitable operations, growing global demand for the commodity, and adequate resources in the ground for long-term productivity. That's what the Thompson Creek Metals Company success is all about. Thompson Creek has recently emerged as one of the world's largest publicly traded pure molybdenum producers. The company is a fully integrated primary molybdenum producer with two large mines and extensive processing facilities. Annual production exceeds 20 million pounds of premium grade molybdenum, about 5% of total world production, and total mineral resources currently exceed 1 billion pounds. The company is already very profitable and anticipates considerable growth including the development of Canada's largest undeveloped molybdenum deposit. And global demand for molybdenum continues to increase, driven by world economic growth, especially in the energy sector. Many investors are still not aware of the essential role molybdenum plays in industry. Molybdenum, or moly, is a metal whose unique properties include an extremely high melting point, low thermal expansion, environmental stability, chemical versatility, and low toxicity. It is primarily used for making steel strong and corrosion resistant. Moly is required wherever steel faces tough, challenging conditions, such as oil and gas pipelines, offshore drilling rigs, nuclear and conventional power plants, chemical processing and storage facilities, jet and turbine engines, building exteriors, automotive manufacturing, shipbuilding and military applications. Molly is also valued as a specialty high-performance lubricant and as a catalyst to reduce sulfur in oil refining. World demand for molybdenum has soared in recent years, driven by expanding energy needs and global industrial growth, especially the rapidly growing economies of China and India. And Thompson Creek is ideally positioned to benefit from this demand growth. The company's producing assets include the Thompson Creek Open Pit Mine and Mill in Idaho, a metallurgical roasting facility at Langloth, Pennsylvania, and the Andaco Open Pit Mine, Mill and Roasting Facility in British Columbia. Our operations are completely integrated. By that I mean that the final product we sell, molybdenum oxide, is produced solely at Thompson Creek owned facilities. We have concentrators, mills, and two roasting facilities. Existing operating properties are the heart of a successful mining company. Let's take a closer look. Located in Idaho's mountainous terrain, the Thompson Creek Mine is the second largest open pit primary molybdenum mine in the world. The mine uses well-established open pit mining methods. Large electric powered shovels load ore onto 200 ton trucks to be hauled to the on-site mill. Molybdenum disulfide concentrate is extracted from the ore and shipped by truck to the Langloth processing plant. Located 40 kilometers west of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the 147-acre Langloth complex is a world-class facility with a long history of producing high-quality metallurgical products, products which command a premium price. The facility includes multi-hearth roasters, an extensive smelting facility, and a sublimator. This unique electric furnace produces pure molybdenum trioxide for specialized applications. 
The Indaco Mine is an open pit primary molybdenum mine located near Fraser Lake, British Columbia. The Indaco pit and the Denak East and West pits will be mined as part of the current mine plan. The mine is operated as a joint venture, with Thompson Creek holding a 75% interest and Sojitz, a Japanese company, holding the remaining interest. Endaco is a fully integrated operation and includes a concentrator plant and roasting facility that converts concentrate into technical molybdenum oxide. All of our operations are located in North America. This represents a favorable political climate for Thompson Creek compared to mining operations in other parts of the world. Thompson Creek is fortunate to have an excellent professional staff. Most of the management have been in place for a minimum of 10 years at their existing locations. And among our 700 employees, many have been at their jobs for 10, 20, and sometimes 30 years at these same operations. Unlike other commodities, Molly is not sold through a centralized metals exchange. Thompson Creek sells Molly directly to its end users, so its product quality, marketing channels, and long-standing customer relationships are another advantage. All of Thompson Creek's operations maintain the highest standards for safety and environmental awareness. For example, at Langloth, sulfur dioxide emissions have been reduced by more than 99% through the construction of an acid plant, which processes this former waste product into sulfuric acid for sale to other industries. In recent years, the price of molybdenum has increased substantially, driven by a perfect storm of converging market forces. Molybdenum is essential for many energy-related activities. The search for oil is becoming more extreme, and high-performance molybdenum alloy steel plays an important role. Each kilometer of typical oil pipeline requires approximately one ton of moly. And as we go further and deeper in the search for hydrocarbons, the use of these steels is increasing markedly. Molybdenum also plays an essential role in protecting the environment. In pipelines and oil tankers, its primary use is to prevent corrosion that leads to spills. Steel alloys with high molybdenum content are essential for the safe operation of nuclear reactors. In addition to the energy industry, molybdenum alloy steels play an important role in aircraft and shipbuilding, architectural steel, and the automotive industry. A single car contains almost one pound of moly and there are approximately 55 million cars manufactured annually. Molybdenum is also a critical component in certain stainless steels that are used in processing plants and other capital projects, especially where high temperatures and corrosive environments are present. The demand for these large-scale capital projects has been significant in the last several years as a result of global economic growth, especially from the rapidly expanding Chinese economy. World consumption of molybdenum was about 440 million pounds in 2007. It is estimated that demand will grow by a compound rate of 4% annually, yet supply is constrained. Molybdenum comes from both primary mines and also as a byproduct of some copper mines. Due to the high price of copper and molybdenum over the last several years, all the readily available additional supply of molybdenum from existing mines has been developed. So it is not clear where the additional supply of molybdenum will come from over the next couple of years, unless it comes from China. While China has substantial molybdenum reserves, it also needs to fuel its growing internal industrial expansion. This, combined with recent Chinese government interventions, which closed some mines and restricted exports, will likely continue to reduce its role as a net exporter of Mali. Uh, the fundamentals for molybdenum have changed remarkably in the last few years, as they have for most metals, uh, and mostly because of China and India and other less developed countries that are continuing to increase their infrastructure spending. And quite frankly, we don't see 
the type of uh, price correction that happened in the 70s and 80s, we think prices not only will hold in here, but probably will go higher. Expanding markets and constrained supply indicate a positive outlook for molybdenum. And Thompson Creek Metals Company is taking significant steps to fully benefit from this trend. The company has a long-term strategy to maximize mine life and profitability at its existing holdings. This includes both increasing ore production and mill throughput, and implementing new mine plans based on a re-estimation of mineral resources and reserves. At the Thompson Creek Mine, a new 10-year mine plan calls for the deepening and widening of the pit. And exploration drilling in 2008 may result in more ore and a significantly longer mine life. And at Indaco, the company is proceeding with plans to modernize the mill and increase mine production from its current 28,000 tons per day up to 50,000 tons per day and to construct a super pit, unifying the three existing pits into a massive single pit. Indaco now has the Indaco pit and then two smaller pits off the end. When you look at 50 to 60,000 tons a day, the ore that's between those, or the rock that's between those pits becomes ore. And you can make money mining it. And so instead of having three pits, you end up with one larger pit. The Davidson Deposit, Canada's largest undeveloped molybdenum deposit, represents an opportunity for organic growth at low capital cost. The deposit's high-grade core is easily accessible with minimal impact on the environment. The company is examining the possibility of mining 2,000 tons of high-grade ore per day and shipping it to the Indaco facility 200 kilometers away for processing. We think Thompson Creek's in an excellent position going forward. We're generating lots of cash from our existing operations, and we think the price of molybdenum is going to remain strong for quite a few years into the future. We think it'll take several years at a minimum to get a new molybdenum mine built, or for that matter, any new type of mine, because of the permitting, financing, and engineering challenges in today's environment. The replacement value of the Thompson Creek mine would be over a billion dollars today. It was built for $350 million back in 1983. Thompson Creek has two unique advantages that differentiate us from other molybdenum producers. Number one, we're in production now and we are a fully integrated mining company. We also own our own smelters or roasters with which we can produce a finished product. That's what really differentiates Thompson Creek. Profitable operations, impressive reserves, and expanding global demand indicate a bright future for Thompson Creek Metals Company, one of the world's largest publicly traded pure molybdenum producers.